Hello, my name is Luke Hebbs and I'm from RLR UK. Welcome to my second video demonstration of Trustee's Rapport, showing you how it combats spyware on your machine. In this second video demonstration, I will show you the Rapport blocks keyloggers on protected websites, and specifically we'll be using the Zamana keylogger test tool. So let's start that up straight away. And I'll move it down into the corner to give us a little bit more space. Now this is just a standard executable uh, running on there. There's no other malware or um, other changes to this operating system. Okay, just a standard executable. We're going to start it up there so it's actually recording the uh, all our keystrokes. Now, at the moment, um, Rapport is not actually installed on this machine, so we should be able to actually uh, log all the keystrokes. So I've just opened up Internet Explorer and we're on the Google um, page. Let's navigate to one of um, Trustia's partner websites. We'll go to HSBC first. So type in HSBC. You should see this is coming up in the simulation test tool. And there you go, everything I've typed in straight in the um, tool there. Not so much of a problem on Google, more of a problem on, a, on your bank website. So we're going to open up HSBC's personal internet banking site. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it says here in the corner, Welcome, input internet banking user ID, e.g. IB12345678900. So we're going to type in exactly that. And if you watch the Zamana keylogger as I type this in, you should see it all coming up there. So IB12345678900. Then I'll log on. You see that we're in there. I'm now asked to enter my date of birth, so I'm going to make one up. Again, watch the keylogger as I type this in. I'm going to type in um, the 12th of the 3rd, 64. Okay, so 1, 2, 0, 3, 6, 4. And up it comes. Tab across to the, um, to the next field where it's asking me to enter the first, second, and fourth digits of my security number. So I'm literally going to just type in 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, and 4. Now, as you can see, all of that has come up in the keylogger. If I go to another one of their protected sites, so let's go to NatWest, Online Banking, and open that up in a new tab as well. Don't forget, Rapport is not actually installed on the machine at this stage. So, date of birth, again I shall enter in 12th of the 3rd, 64, and then a unique number, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this case. Log in there. And I'm now asked to enter the first, third, and fourth number of my PIN number. So I'm going to enter in 1, 3, and 4. 1, 3, 4. So although you can't see it on the screen, you can see that the um, keylogger is actually picking that up. Now I'm asked for the first, second, and sixth character of my password. I'm going to put in capital X, capital Y, capital Z. Okay, so here we go. X, Y, Z. And again, although I can't see it on the screen, the keylogger has picked the whole thing up. Okay, as you can now see, Rapport is installed on this machine. You can see the grey uh, rapport icon at the, in the address bar. If I click on there, you can see that the console actually opens, saying that this is not a protected website. It's not a partner website of Trustee, but it can be protected. We're not going to do that at the moment. What I will do, though, now is start the Zamana uh, Keylogger Simulation test tool again. I'll go through the same demonstration as before. This time, though, remember, Trustee's report is installed on the machine. So if I go to HSBC again, you can see that everything I type into Google is coming up in the simulation test tool at the moment. So we'll go back to here on HSBC. Now, again, I'm going to use exactly the same information as I used uh, before. I'm going to type in IB12345678900 as the user ID as the user ID. But watch what happens in the keylogger. So IB 12345678900. Hopefully you can see that it comes out as a capital A, capital B, because I held the shift key down to do a capital IB. Uh, and then CDEFG instead of the actual digits. Now the fact that it comes out as a capital B and I typed in a capital B is pure coincidence. You don't know that. It's going to happen. These are just coming out in alphabetical order. So if I log in there, I'll say, yes, I want to protect my user ID. This is Rapport uh, enabling me to um, protect this user ID so that it will alert me if I start entering it into another website that might be a phishing website or something like that. 
So again, I'm going to put in the same date of birth as before. So this is going to be the 12th of the 3rd, 64. Again, watch what happens in the um, keylogger. So I'll type in 1, 2, 0, 3, 6, 4. That came out as A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, it restarted the alphabet again. So every time we go to a new page, it's going to restart the alphabet. Tap across to the other one, and I'll say it's the first, second, and fourth digits again. So I'll do 1, 2, and 4 exactly as before. So 1, 2, and 4 which is coming out as A, B, and F. Okay, again, this matches up with the, with the previous dialog box. Okay, so we're not getting anywhere there, but if I flick back to Google, I can try the other one. Nat West, again, that actually comes up in the keylogger. Okay, just do that so you can see it coming up in the keylogger, that it does still work. Now I'll open up Nat West in a new uh, web page. Again, the customer number will do the um, date of birth the same as before, 12th of the 3rd, 64, and our unique number is 1234. Again, this isn't actually coming out properly in the keylogger, it's just coming out as, as the alphabet. So you go to login, yes, I'll protect this user ID as well. Now I'm going to enter in for the PIN number, the first, third, and fourth number, so 134, 134, coming out as ABC. And as the password, I'm going to enter in capital X, Y, and Z again. It's capital X, Y, and Z. And they come out as D, E, and F.